enough. Waek, Neko, Jamp will no longer allow underage children. Minister of Education. Hmm. This government is like the more we look, the less we see. No wonder that primate said there's a lot of confusion in Tinumbu's government. When there are so many issues to be talked about, so many issues to be handled, they are talking about increasing the age of children to enter an institution. When we have a lot of out-of-school children roaming about the street, Gobe is not talking about that. We have underage in Boko Haram among kidnappers and ordinary other criminal activities in this country. Almagiris are everywhere. Early marriage is a part of the country. Children are used for begging here and there. And nobody is talking about that. They are not talking about underage children going into an institution. Underage children not to write work, not to write Uneko, not to sit for jam. What is the disadvantage of early education to the society, if I may ask? Should we not keep talent because of some section of the country? Are they doing this to favor a particular section of the country? Like I said, what is the disadvantage or how does early school affect the society? Maybe they know what we don't know. But the issue is, and what I will advise, anybody close to this government should preach the need to implement policies of good, on good education whereby professionals will advise them and they should stop paying lip service into this issue of education in this country. While the federal government has insisted that candidates must be 18 years old before they are admitted into tertiary institutions, Education Minister Tahir Mamma made this known when he appeared on a television program called Sunday Politics. He added that the federal government has also instructed the West African Examination Council, WAEC, the National Examination Council, NECO, not to allow underage children to write the examinations. According to the minister, no candidate will sit for the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, UTME, organized by the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM, unless they are 18 years and maybe above, it is 18 years or nothing. What we did at the meeting that we had with Jump in July was to allow this year and for it to serve as a kind of notice for parents that this year Jump will admit students who are below that age. But from next year, Jump is going to insist that anybody applying to go to university in Nigeria meets the required age, which is 18 years. For the avoidance of doubt, this is not a new policy. This is a policy that has been there for a long time. Then what are they and what have they been looking at? What have they been doing to get it right? Why are they just coming at now to tell us that on the 18, the issue has been there. Anybody that is on the 18 can, should not be admitted into an institution. What has that got to do with the issues that we have among us that is being bedeviling this nation and nobody is talking about it? They are coming out to pick a policy that will affect a lot of people. What is wrong in somebody that is brilliant, that sits for exam even at the age of 16 and is able to make his paper? Will you not discourage us today? And you allow them to sit idle at home? Somebody that has made his paper at the age of 16, you are saying he will sit down at home for two years before he will get admission to university. Tell me what would happen to that, 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 those, to those children. Tell me what will happen to them. What will they be doing? Will they not be roaming about this thing? Will they have not be, you know, tempted to go into something that will not be palatable to the society at the end of the day? A hand, they said, is the devil's workshop. They should just think right. 
before they come in to execute this policy. He said, basically, if you compute the number of years pupils and learners are supposed to be in school, the number you will end up is 17 and a half years from early child care to primary school to junior secondary and then senior secondary school. You will end up with 15, I mean 17 and a half by the time they are ready for admission. In any case, NECO and WAEC henceforth will not be allowing underage children to write the examinations. In other words, if somebody has not spent the required number of years in that particular level to study, WAEC and NECO will not allow them to write the examination. Well, if they choose to move out of the country, we will not come and say, come and be shouting brain drain at the end of the day. Instead of us to look at how we harmonize, what would they be doing sitting down? What would they be doing? Somebody has, God has given him that wisdom, brilliant, and is able to move ahead, faster ahead of his other colleagues, you know, because of one policy, the child should not be allowed to be wasting away. Well, this, for me personally, is not a good idea, and they should think twice before executing this policy. Well, my listener, what is your view on this? Is it the best for this country? Or we don't know what we are doing as a nation? Kindly make your opinion known as you subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.